15 Things Poor People Do That The Rich Don't We know that many of you are on your way to achieving financial success and becoming more financially literate so we wanted to put together a list of things that poor people do which guarantees their mediocrity. Please realize these are here to only make you think about your current situation and what you could do to better yourself. The thing is some people will always take offense but while you're busy bashing us in the comments the true entrepreneur will write these down and see if there's room for improvement in their own lives, choose which one you are and let us know in the comments. So what are some of the differences between the poor and the rich in their day-to-day -day life? As always there are plenty of exceptions to these rules not everyone is in control of those circumstances but being aware of these habits and activities might give you a slight edge and who knows if you stop doing them maybe you'd be closer to that goal you've been dreaming about here are 15 things poor people do that the rich don't. Number 1, Poor People Watch A Lot Of TV Let me put it this way, if you have the time to watch reality TV then you're probably poor. It's always amazing how much time poor people waste on meaningless television. It's one of those distractions that grabs you and doesn't let go, if you know which celebrity is dating who and if you're watching TV shows every week as the episodes come on if you have a favorite news channel then you're probably watching too much television hence why your life is the way it is. It's called the idiot box for a reason. Let us explain properly. Celebrity gossip and buzz offers no value to your life, it only serves the celebrities. You're watching rich people become more rich just by you watching them. Rich people aim to be on TV instead of watching it you might say. Some TV is good and can help you to disconnect but that's exactly the issue, you disconnect from your problems instead of dealing with them and getting them out of the way. There are rare occasions where in the words of John Lennon time you enjoy wasting is not wasted time. Yet really think about it for a moment. Should sitting on your backside slide watching a screen be something you really enjoy doing when you could be bettering your financial situation so you can travel more often seeing this amazing world we live in? Just quickly before we move on, let me explain what we meant by having a favorite news channel. You might say that the only good reason to watch TV is to be aware of what's happening in the world and staying informed. The problem we're seeing with this is that TV stations are always biased in order to pick their own agenda instead use the power of the internet to get a quick glimpse of what the world is like today and move on to do your own thing. The only news channel we watch is Bloomberg for the information on the markets. Number 2, Poor People Eat Fast Food. Health is really important and many poor people have no interest in knowing what's in their food, what an actual healthy meal should look like, barely know anything about nutrition or can't afford quality food because they are poor due to not being financially literate. Poor people are blasting their brains with large quantities of sugar and fats with no nutritional value, they are actively ruining their bodies and in effect they cannot perform at 100% of their potential as they're not healthy all aspects of their life. Studies have shown that your health directly affects you physically, mentally, professionally and even romantically. Number 3 Poor people buy clothes or products that are on sale. Let me put it this way the only thing you should buy on sale are stocks. While poor people are looking to conserve or stretch the little that they have the rich are focused on increasing their incomes. Just think about it, the clothes that end up being on sale are the ones that people who could afford to pay the full price didn't want buy buy as the quality is not as it should be. Ever heard the saying, buy cheap, buy twice? Well in clothing it makes perfect sense. Number 4, Poor People Wake Up Later Poor people wake up later than rich people do in their early years as poor people are often lazier than the rich. We know that some of you will be bothered a lot by the previous statement, but statistically it's the truth. Someone who used to not wasting time staying in bed tend to spend more time investing in themselves meaning they become a higher net worth person, with more transferable skills and is a lot less likely to remain poor in life. If don't educate yourself and waste time on meaningless activities at one point you'll find yourself so far behind what the world needs from you that you'll end up miserable. 
The paradox is that people who do not focus on growth in the early days end up working a lot harder with little success rate later in life just to stay afloat. Number 5, Poor people are really into sports. Where people are really into sports the truth is unless you're a professional athlete or an owner of one of the teams there's really no reason for you to watch sports. It's the same with television. It's escapism from your current reality. Think of it like this, you're putting yourself in a position where you as an individual have no impact on the outcome of the game, zero impact. This behavior then sticks with you and you end up being a spectator in life instead of being a player or an owner and that's when you start criticizing other people when you yourself haven't done anything better. Me personally I like football or soccer as some call it and ice hockey but when I have a game on I am writing scripts for this channel or working on another project and using it as background noise. I don't get emotionally involved as what's the point. It won't improve my life or situation. Number 6, Poor people don't shower as often. Poor people don't shower as often as rich people, yes believe it or not we didn't make this one up. It turns out to be true and amazingly it explains a lot when you really think about it. Most of the jobs today are in the service industries where human contact is a must in order to have a successful exchange of value. People who don't have good personal hygiene will in time be less successful than their counterparts, people tend to trust them less. People want to spend less time in their presence and all of this has ramifications in their personal life. If people don't like you and don't want to be around you what kind of partners will you attract exactly? It might seem ridiculous, but the first step to success should be an early morning shower. Number 7, Poor People Blame Others Poor people blame others for their misfortune. How many people do you know that have some sort of excuse or blame other factors for not being successful yet? There are some things that are out of our control but 99% of your life is on you. There's a great saying that 80% of life just requires you turning up and being present. Remember that you are in charge of your life, you are in charge of your relationships, you are in charge of your health and if you want these to change do something about it. Life is not what happens to us, it's how we react to what happens to us. I personally had a stroke in 2018 but since then have completed a marathon, almost finished writing a book, increased my job salary by over 35% and started this channel, what's your excuse? When something bad happens the poor choose to victimize themselves while the rich look into it study it to find out what happened, why it happened and how they can protect from it in the future. While one assumes the position of vulnerable victim the other uses it as a growing point. Number 8 Poor people have no money saved. One of the differences between poor people and the rich is that the former don't get ready for what's next. Having money put aside allows for growth. Let's say something bad happens if you have money put aside the problem is solved, and you can resume your life while if you don't and the situation is urgent what do you do? You either liquidate an asset like your car house, etc., or you can take a loan and get into bad debt while for the rich when the situation is over they're left in the same position just with less savings. While for someone who's poor their lifestyle has been dramatically hit or now belongs to the creditor now let's look at the exact opposite an opportunity arises and those who have money put aside now have the chance to expand their lives while the other can't afford to take a full advantage of this opportunity. That's why the rich are growing richer while the poor are getting poorer. Number 9, Poor People Use Credit Cards or Take Out Loans Poor people use credit cards or take out loans for useless things, which is also known and referred to by this channel as bad debt. One of the main differences between rich and poor is how they make use of credit. The rule is simple if you take out a loan to buy something that doesn't generate more money than the loan don't take it as that's bad debt. It's that simple. You should only use credit if what you'll be using it for is an investment or something that will increase your income, that's called good debt. Want to take out a loan for a large TV, buy that new Supreme Gear, get the new iPhone, 
well don't unless you're flipping the supreme gear for profit or you're using your iPhone to develop a new app to grow your business. These items should not be on your credit instead earn the money and then spend it you'll learn more about this on number 12. Number 10, poor people tend to have more kids. Poor people tend to have more kids and have them earlier in life. The truth is children are really really expensive, we all know how fun it is to make them or at least practice making them, but people get stuck up to this point. They don't think it's true. Just to give you a sense of perspective if you're living in one of the more developed countries raising a child will cost you approximately $250,000 per child, now that's a lot of money and just up to the age of 18 but nowadays children stay at home longer costing potentially more than this. Other factors include that poor people have on average more children and at a younger age than their rich counterparts, while the rich wait a couple of years until their standards of living improve in order to assure the right environment and prime conditions for their child to flourish while the poor just go ahead with it. Once the baby comes the struggling begins just to stay afloat and progress. Number 11 Poor people do not do regular medical or health checks. We've touched on the importance of health in the past, but this is an especially important point that poor people do not get themselves checked regularly. Let's say by mere chance you end up having a difficult disease, let's say cancer, if you do regular checkups you'll hopefully discover in early stages making the chance of treatment possible at a lower cost if on the other hand you neglect to do so you might discover it only when it's too late and it will cost both you and your entire family more than just fortune. Number 12, poor people spend money before they get it. One of the biggest dangers in life is spending money before you have it and the second is you start borrowing money or acquiring expenses before you're able to pay them and your life starts to spiral down the debt hole. If you don't have money for something that you're willing to part with without affecting your life, then you can't afford it go back to work until you can afford it. If it's not a necessary then it can wait. Number 13, poor people surround themselves with other poor people. It's true to say that we are the sum of the five people you hang out with most so if you're surrounded by four poor people guess who's the fifth. One of the ways people make sure they stay poor is by associating themselves or hanging out with other poor people that reinforce their core beliefs whilst you need people around you that will inspire you and push you further, those that are doing incredible things themselves those whose successes will only motivate you to exceed your current reality. If you're hanging out with the same people you did when you were young and your life hasn't improved you might want to double check and don't be afraid to step away from a crowd and move on to something better if you don't your potential will probably be crushed by those who want to feel better about their miserable lives by making sure you suffer the same fate. Number 14, Poor people never follow through on their ideas or potential. You're not able to control who your parents are, where you are born or how society treats you. The only thing you can control is the amount of hours you put into your dream. Every single person alive only has 24 hours per day and yet some do a lot more than others if you dedicate yourself to learning and implementing more about what you're passionate about it's only a matter of time until you reach success. You've heard that 9 out of 10 businesses fail in their first 3 years well do you know how many businesses fail because they never got started the answer is all of them. If you have an idea, work on it put it out get feedback improve it launch again and again. This is our third attempt of at a YouTube channel if you're struggling with procrastination, watch our video on time is money by Aidan Nolan, that changed my mindset completely. Number 15 poor people believe that others should help them reach the top. Let's be clear, the world doesn't owe you anything, nobody does believe it or not and you're in this by yourself. You are in charge what happens in your life. The thing is everyone believes when they're young that they're going to be successful, but then reality happens. This world we're living in rewards only the best and the best are those that never quit or those that keep learning. Survival of fittest hasn't changed since the days we lived in caves, the definition of the fittest has. Keep adapting and understand that nobody will solve your problems for you, 
face them head on and along the way you might meet people who feel the same way and might share parts of the journey with you otherwise you'll just be a part of that majority that's meant to fail. Hope some of these have been helpful to those that haven't got offended, if you did get offended then you're probably going to stay poor as you won't ever try to improve yourself. We say this out of kindness and after spending a lot of time dealing with affluent customers and taking their advice on board over the last two decades, we're trying to save you the trail and error method. Until next time stay financially savvy.